Hello everyone, I am Sunil Kumar BL, Associate Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Kenra Engineering College. I am handling Advanced Computer Architectures, 17 CS 72. Textbook is Advanced Computer Architecture by Kai Hong and Naresh Jotwani. Reference book is Computer Architecture, a Quantitative Approach by John L. NSC and David A. Patterson. Chapter 2 talks about program and network properties. Contents are grain sizes and latency. Program partitioning and scheduling. Program partitioning is a technique for dividing a large program into many smaller instances for parallel execution. It involves both programmers and compiler. Grain size or granularity is a measure of the amount of computation involved in a software process. The program segment or grain can be measured by counting the number of instructions. Grain size can be described as fine, medium or coarse. Grain size determines the basic program segment chosen for parallel processing. Diagram shows the levels of parallelism. Five levels of program execution represent different computational grain sizes and changing communication and control requirements. Level 1 includes instructions or statements. Level 2 – Non-recursive loops or unfolded iterations. Level 3 – Procedures, subroutines, tasks or coroutines. Level 4 – Subprograms, job, steps or related parts of a program. And Level 5 – Jobs or programs. The execution of a program may involve a combination of these levels. The actual combination depends on the application, formulation, algorithm, language, program, compilation support and hardware characteristics. So it can be categorized as fine grain, medium grain and coarse grain parallelism. Instruction level parallelism. If grain contains less than 20 instructions are called fine grain. Fine grain parallelism can vary the number of candidates from 2 to 1000. The explanation of fine grain parallelism can be assisted by an optimizing compiler which should be automatically detect parallelism and translate the source code to parallel form. Loop level parallelism Loop usually contains less than 500 instructions. If there is no dependence on loop operations between iterations, it can be handled by a pipeline or SIMD machine. Loop level parallelism is often the most optimized program construct to execute on a parallel or vector computer. Some loops for example, recursive loops are difficult to parallelize. Loop level parallelism is also considered as fine grain computation. Procedure level parallelism. This level belongs to medium grain parallelism, typically contains less than 2000 instructions. Detection of parallelism at this level is much more difficult than fine grain level. Communication requirement is comparatively less. Single procedure multiple data execution mode is the special case in this level. Multitasking can also be observed here. Subprogram level parallelism. This belongs to the level of job steps and related subprograms and contains 10 to hundreds of thousands instructions. Job steps can be overlapped. Message passing multi-computers are being used. 
parallelism at this level has been exploited by algorithm designer or programmers job or program level parallelism this corresponds to the parallel execution of essentially independent jobs or programs on a parallel computer the grain size can be as high as millions of instructions in a single program job level parallelism is handled by the program loader and by the operating system communication latency better performance of a computer can be achieved by balancing granularity and latency various latencies are attributed to machine architecture implementing technology and communication pattern involved latency imposes a limiting factor on the scalability of the machine size for example over the years memory latency has increased with respect to processor cycle time interprocessor communication latency it is another important parameter for a system designer to minimize latency along with signal delays it also affected by the communication pattern involved for example n tasks communicating with each other may requires n into n minus 1 divided by 2 communication links thus the complexity grows quadratically this leads to communication bound which limits the number of processors in the system communication patterns these patterns determined by the algorithms used as well as by the architecture support provided frequently encountered patterns are permutations broadcast multicast and conference the communication demand may limit the granularity or parallelism thank you